What's up dudes? My name is Nick. Welcome back for another music video reaction today, of course, at least for this specific video. I'm super, 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 super excited and pumped to be checking out the debut song from a brand new group coming out of Cube Entertainment called, well, G Idol, or I prefer Girl Idol because that sounds better to me than calling them G Idol because, you know, the Korean is Girl Idol, not G Idol. But, you know, whatever. That doesn't make any difference. Um, I'm super pumped for this because, first of all, I know for a fact that uh, Soyeon or John Soyeon is actually a member of this group, which is cool. Her solo music that, they, that she's released in the last six months is really, really good, really, really interesting sort of stuff. And, well, one, I like CLC. Two, my all-time, the one and only bias group that I have, although Luna might be, you know, challenging for that spot, is 4Minute, who is, of course, a group from Cube Entertainment. So just another, another Cube girl group is always something that I'm super excited for. So I'm going to do what I do in all of my videos here, and I'm going to give you guys my honest first impression thoughts and opinions to let you guys know whether I like the song or not. So if you're interested in stuff like that and you hear more, you want to hear me talk about other K-pop releases in the future, then subscribe to the channel so that you can just make sure that you are up to date with everything that I'm talking about. So with all of that being said, let's get this video started or the song started. Well, for all of the hype that I had and built up, the intro, the start of this song is not quite there, but that's cool. All of my, all of the hype and energy that I brought into this is just. I'm not pulling it out of this song, which is cool, that's fine, but I got myself all amped up, but then the song just doesn't match into my energy levels. At least for now. Well, you want to talk about a super, uh, like, memorable and addicting chorus? That's it right there. Something super, super simple and a little bit of repetition is, like, super easy and super simple, simple way to work your way into people's brains. If I, if I said that my my view of the song right now is kind of being shaped by my hype leading into this, I would be a liar because I was hope well, not hoping, but I had myself amped for the song and you know like like energy and impact wise, the song's not quite delivering to the same level that my that my hype was. Which again, like I said, that's not a criticism of the song. It's just like really more just letting you guys know, I suppose, that you know, what I, what I prepared myself for is not quite what I'm getting. If that makes any sense. But you know, re regardless of regard regardless of, of what I'm feeling, like how I kind of set myself up, you know, I, I think that Cube's got another just killer girl group right here. These girl, this is fantastic. This is great. Which I guess it sets up a different, an interesting sort of. I guess, I don't know, conversation or, you know, some couple of interesting thoughts. 
you know, regarding the groups, the lineup of groups that Cube's got right now. <laughs> okay, nice ending. Um, but yeah, that was, that was, um, that was a little bit more nuanced, I suppose, than what I was, you know, than, than what I was all hyped up for, because, you know, it, it, I don't, I don't think it's particularly, like, what am I trying to say, what am I, what, what was, what exactly was I thinking, what direction did I want to go with what I just was going to say, um, I got myself amped up, right, like, I was super, super pumped for this, like, I thought this song was gonna be super, super dope, but it wasn't dope in the way that I thought it was going to be, or the way that I had, you know, set myself up to, you know, to be in the, the mindset to receive. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I wasn't really, I'm not really in the, the mindset of having a song like this. I was thinking we were going to get one of those, you know, K-pop songs we normally do that are just over the top, super, super, you know, outgoing, I guess is a way to describe it, and something that's kind of like a little bit in your face. But... I like I like the fact that this song wasn't necessarily like that. I think that that's really good. And you know, that I suppose is a nice little lead right into kind of the discussion that I've got about the girl groups that 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 Cube Entertainment has got right now. So, CLC and their well, most recent music recently. And I'm thinking mostly um, as, as in terms of like songs that kind of fits the visual sort of of this song because the, the the comeback or the release that CLC had in the last half of 2017 was not exactly I'm not really kind of considering that but the music that CLC has released uh, Black Dress and Hobgoblin are songs that are much more in your face and much more outgoing feeling uh, G Idol here or Idol or Girl Idol or whatever you want to call these girls um, they are, the song is definitely not really outgoing like that. It's not really coming, it's not really, you know, coming out to really, really make a serious impact on you, like, immediately. And whereas in comparison, you know, uh, Black Dress and Hobgoblin are kinds of like those songs. So I think, which I think is actually something that is very, very good and like business-wise, I suppose, is very smart, is that Cube has got now two girl groups, depending on how, you know, this group specifically, the, you know, subject matter of the video that I'm making right now, kind of heads in with their music. Like, they've got a group that is going to provide something that is a little bit hard-hitting, like, immediately hard-hitting, and is very, very aggressive feeling, versus a group that's not necessarily the most aggressive feeling of, you know, with their music. Which I think providing people with the choice of who they want is always a good thing. So people who like girl groups who like, you know, more relaxed and more laid back music, they're going to go for, you know, G Idol. Girl, uh, people who like girls, gr girl groups who have a little bit more attitude and are more expressive of that are going to go for CLC potentially. I think that's really, really good. That's really, really interesting. And, you know, despite the, like that actual like major and obvious difference, I like both groups, like I think equally at this point in time. Like G Idol and and this song definitely for me is a song that I'm gonna need to process more. And you know, as I you know listen to this song more, one time is not really enough to really get a you know fully formed opinion on this song, or a even a really solid like initial opinion for me because I'm. And again, this goes back to kind of like the beginning where I was like, I kind of was super amped and the energy levels for me personally were really, really high. And then the song just didn't match that. So I couldn't like feed off of that to give you guys a crazy reaction video, you know, or which would have resulted in a crazy reaction video. Not because I, I don't perform in my videos like that, but you know, I, I, I had high energy levels. The music video and the song didn't actually match those high energy levels, which means for me that it was a little bit more difficult to kind of, I, I guess, I don't know, express, be a little bit more expressive like I would have and have a, like a stronger reaction like I have had in some other music videos, like very rarely, but in the past. Um, so, so that's kind of a thing. It's kind of a big, it's, it's kind of a big, you know, difference. Um, going into the music specifically with this just very, very briefly, cause it's not really, I don't really have anything major to say about it, but you know, it's probably, it's, it's not really true cause it's not exactly, you know, what I, the, the song didn't necessarily have characteristics that, you know, 
when I dive down into this deeper later that I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't really characterize it as Tropical House, but it kind of felt a little teeny tiny bit like we had some of that stuff in the music video, some of those characteristics in this song. And that's not a bad thing. In fact, because the whole, you know, Tropical House thing hasn't been a thing in K-pop since the beginning of the year, getting a little bit of that sound right now is definitely not something that I hate. Because previously, of course, most of 2017, I was saying like, okay, let's finish off with this with this trending sound. Like, I'm tired of it, guys. Can you guys innovate your sound and do something a little bit different with the music that you're releasing? And, you know, of course most companies didn't do that. So it got a little bit tiresome listening to those kinds of songs. Now with this song, just because I think that, of course, like I said, doesn't mean exactly, doesn't exactly mean that it is true, but that's just kind of a little thought right there that triggered in my brain. But of course, we'll solidify what I really think about that and what I really kind of identify that as, you know, later on once I listen to this song a little bit more. Um, so for now, that's really all that I've got. You know, the main things that I that I'm like looking at right now, right this at this, the main things that I'm looking at right now for this song are the differences between CLC and their you know two more you know prominent and outgoing and aggressive uh, songs in Black Dress and Hobgoblin compared to this debut song here, um, which is much more you know laid back and more reserved to a certain extent. So it's really all that I've got to say. I want to know what you guys think about the song and the music video or just your general thoughts and, and opinions on this group. And, you know, maybe in comparison to CLC, you know, whatever your thoughts and all that stuff are down in the comment box below. Let me know what you guys think, no matter what it is that you think. It doesn't matter. I want to hear it whether you like the song or not. Because this community that I'm trying to build here is all about having some free and open discussion about our thoughts and opinions, no matter what they are. So if you're interested in joining that community, then click the subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon so you can turn on notifications to make sure that you do not miss a single video. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.